All the objects are over 100 years old. I have to ask you to please be very careful. Do not touch the items on display. Uh, you're very welcome to take as many pictures videos as you wish during your whole visit. So this room, the study, heart of the museum and building, heart of books, films and of course, new TV shows. Just here with us, right hand side, Dr. Watson's desk, where he wrote down and recorded everything as narrator of most of the original books. As you can see all over it, also here inside his personal bag. A bit strange and quite old fashioned, but wonderful medical and surgery equipment from the late 19th century, from his days as a doctor in the British Army, as described in the books. Also here, right in the middle, just on top, an original The Times newspaper. If you look closer, dated in July the 12th of 1881. Same date when in the original books, both friends moved together to Baker Street. This is how the newspaper from that day in the books would look like. Far corner of a room next to the window, another desk with Mr. Holmes' working station, his chemistry set, pioneer of the fingerprint analysis and forensic science. Very close, standing next to it, you might recognize his even more famous violin. And as you know, he plays to sort of, well, concentrate. When he's stuck with the difficulty. So as this one, because here you might remember too the famous picture of the opera singer Irene Adler, whatever referred by him in the books as the woman, one of the few people ever to outsmart and defeat a great detective during the scandal in Bohemia case. Not an easy thing to do though. So now if you like to, you can join us right hand side here in Sherlock's bedroom. We may continue a bit more with the introduction. Of course after, you may come back and explore a bit more of the room. Thank you and see you next time right hand side. These guys are not part of the books, all these are original pictures from the newspapers. They all come to be real life criminals, murderers and serial killers. The best of the worst. Perhaps the most notorious, a man here with his top hat right in the middle of his spectacles, Dr. Thomas Neil Cream, known as a Lambeth poisoner. That man he left victims in North America, Canada and here in the UK, in London. Finally caught, he was sent to hang of course. The big story comes when during that public execution, no word of a lie, hanging by the news, Neil Cream uttered his last words. I am Jack the Ripper. And actually the press were quite excited, publishing that same picture in the newspapers for a long time. The night of being a murderer, he was quite a liar too. It was during the Whitechapel murders and sent to London. He was in Chicago, USA, in prison. That makes it a bit difficult to prove his identity, of course. But actually the image, in books and films nowadays, Jack the Ripper with the top hat, the cape and the cane, that first time image, comes from Neil Cream from those pictures in the newspapers at the end of the 19th century. Let's go now to Sherlock's bed. On it's a black trowel case inside. We have a horse grooming kit, a priest hat, a pair of handcuffs, but that long thing in the corner, a Victorian policeman's baton. They used to call it the Billy Club. And those items plus this tiny box here on the counter on the other side of the room, a 19th century makeup kit both used in the books for his many costumes and disguises. Such a master of disguise that even Dr. Watson sometimes back at home wouldn't recognize his dear friend, which actually doesn't seem much to him. Let's go to the bed again inside the glass box. You might recognize the famous Sherlock Holmes hat, the iconic in the But to be honest, he just used it a few times in a few stories. While he was in the countryside of England, actually was a man called William Gillette. An American actor, first man ever to use it in a theatre play in 1899, already halfway through the original books. But the play was such a success that immediately it became a Sherlock Holmes icon. As you all know, during the years, many different actors had to use it, yes or yes, for new films and shows, such as Basil Rathbone, Jamie Brett, Peter Cushing, Vasily Libano, and of course now for the new BBC series, the English actor with a funny name, Benedict Cumberbatch. So feel free to spread the rooms, take your pictures, to ask your questions whatsoever. We'll be very happy to answer. Once you've already got two more floors to see us. Thanks very much.